Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick update on this um primer, which is from Benefit. Um, it's the Bravo Conditioning Primer, and let me just open up the cap real quick. This is how it initially looks. Um, it is finished, but in order for to get all the product out, you oh let me hold. there you go. In order for the product to come out from the top, we do have to twist the bottom from there. Um, when I initially bought this product, I didn't realize, well, I shouldn't say I didn't realize, I didn't do a thorough, um, how should I say it? I didn't do a thorough review on this exact product. Um, I was still getting into primer. I think it was more of when primer was getting into the peak. Two, three years ago, I first initially bought it, um, but I never opened it or used it. Um, then I started using it, and it was on and off. And then um, I think I first had initial issues because my eyebrows was still slightly wet when I would use it. Um, when I would fill in my eyebrows. Um, and then I was starting to dry out, which, and then I was filling my eyebrows, which is obviously a bit of a time consuming. So that meant, you know, I put, you know, I've, that's the first prime I would put on, um, and then prime my face, put the foundation on, and then I would fill my eyebrows. Even then, maybe I would have to let it sit down for a few more minutes. For it to dry so that's why it was a lot on and off um then i reviewed it actually on sephora which i have it on the website here um actually i think the date i'm um, actually not i didn't fight this when the primer started being peak don't worry about this mess it is quite late it is already 10 41 at night Ooh. So don't worry about that. Yes, I, I'm doing my MBA. Woohoo! But, um, I think I got this one sometime last year. And I know we were in July, but like I said, I didn't use it for a while. I didn't open it. Normally, the expiration date starts when you officially open it. This is the reason why I'm not still able to use it. But it's expired. I mean, I shouldn't say it's expired. Um, it's officially finished, but I have kept the packaging around, so I could um do my review on this. Um, but back to Sephora. Um, so what I've noticed is I was recently looking at it. Um, under. Um, let me see who's under this tab. Um. Uh, take your eyebrows from sports. Okay, so this says that it, it is known to help brow, help brows look thicker, healthier, and fuller. Um. So yes. Um. Actually, with mine, my beginning of the eyebrows, the inner side is the thicker part. It, it is already thicker. Where it is, um thins out is relatively more thin. Um, and sparse, um, which was the one that was supposed to tell me a lot more if it was actually looking more thicker and fuller, but it didn't. Um, so yes, but obviously, every person is different. Um, it doesn't work on everyone, and then again, like I said, um, I was using it on and off, and my whole point was that you know how um I didn't look at the reviews before, I didn't look at it what it was for. Um I just looked at it, oh it says primer and I just picked it up and why well, isn't yeah see. So it's just a conditioning primer and I just picked it up. Um at the spur of the moment. Um and then if I can get this to brighten up, 
at the back it does mention on this packaging that um if I'm able to read it myself that um it is formulated for full looking brows. Um so yes. Um under the how to um it does mention like I said that under the, the there's a twist button the twist over here um is what you do it with. Um and you just glide it over your eyebrows. Um, so that's pretty much it. I don't know if I personally want to use it, but this is what I was trying to look for. Um, can they, to use it before um you go to sleep. So that initially means that there is a possibility that it will make your eyebrow thicker and then leave it as it is. Um, when you initially read it under the detail, it seems as, as, seems as if it might be temporary. I don't know if that's what I meant, but um, that it will help make it look, you know, help us look. Um, but you know how products normally doesn't give it that permanent look? Um, with such, I don't know, it's primer, so, um, and then... Um, again, like I said, I have been using it on and off, and, um, if I were to use it, I would probably will use it, if I were to buy it again, I would, like, mention here, I will only use it at night time, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think I'm going to use it any other way, if I had to buy it again. The price for the, for the one that I have um, this one is $28. They do have a mini version. Um, the mini size, um, which is $12. Um, which is only online on Sephora. Um, I don't know if, I might buy, I don't know. Again, um, if I want to buy, I would probably buy the mini version to test it out. Um, if anybody has tested it out and did it on a daily um did it use it every single day let me know comment down below um it is benefit i used their other products it worked for me it was just that this particular part I, did, I wasn't doing it on a regular basis because it took a while with my eyebrows hence being you know a little bit thick on a thicker side um it took a while to dry um it got a little bit annoying for me um I'm like on the border end of the side um, of whether or not to buy it again. Um, I don't, firstly for me, I don't see, I don't necessarily see me worth buying it because the way my eyebrows is already. Um, other than that, if, if I want to, I probably would buy it, you know. To test it again, out again, but not anytime soon. Maybe later along, soon later, later on in the near future, but not now. And to do a review on how this part is, um, uh, let's see if I could do this. Um, let's see, I don't know why my phone's getting blurry every few minutes, but, see the, um, there you go, so, right there, um, that doesn't hurt as much, as you can see, it, it, it looks like a needle type, it does not really hurt at all, it, it's smooth, it's smooth as hell, applicable, shouldn't be any issues, um, there's like a small circle in the middle uh, where the liquid comes out. Um, the only way for it to spread out on your eyebrows is once you actually put it on your eyebrows. Then these um, actually helps to spread out then. Um, and then this um, is not that hard. It actually is pretty easy to um, 
twist it around so it's not an issue. So that is also pretty easy. Um, I think that is much for my review as all. Well, that's my review for today. Um, so yes, um, I will be doing other reviews. Um, if you want me to do any other kind of reviews, let me know. Um, any updates you want, um, I will do that as well. Have a good one. Good night.